everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you a tour of my new and improved sewing studio and also share some organization tips that I think are super useful, especially if you don't have a lot of space. As usual, everything I mentioned will be down in my description box, so make sure to check that out and let's get started. So first and foremost, I just wanted to appreciate having wood floors now instead of carpet because it makes vacuuming that much easier and just keeping the room tidy in general. And my husband Eric is the best because he hooked up all the studio lights to this light switch. So when I come in, I just have to turn it on and I can get straight to work. So our goal for this sewing room was to get everything elevated and off the floors. So this metal hanging rack is super useful because it just hangs here when you open it. It doesn't take any space at all. I really like it because now I get to display all of my sewing books instead of having them cramped up in a drawer and other small sewing supplies. Over here on this wall, we put up some decorative circle mirrors just to make the room more fun. And then over here is my sewing table and wall that we put a lot of work into because this is where I film my intro and outro. So we just want it to look really lively and fun. Uh, up there, I have my two punch needle wall arts that I made. Um, this is a painting I did of Saitama from one of my favorite animes, One Punch Man. This canvas was from my old sewing room and then um, my I'd rather be thrifting tote. I customized this neon sign on Amazon and I just love it because it just brings this wall to life. And my favorite way of organizing my threads are on the spool racks and I love organizing them into the colors of the rainbow. I painted my sewing table to match my color theme, which are these three colors right here. And heads up, if you plan on painting an Ikea table or any laminate wood furniture, you have to use a shellac based primer, good quality paint, and finish it with a polyacrylic top coat. I didn't do that in my last makeover when I painted this table cloud and then my machines would get stuck to it and just peel the paint off. The next organization tip that I highly recommend is to get these adhesive drawers and stick them underneath your table. I love that they're super compact and don't take up any space and the drawers are really shallow, perfect for sewing supplies. So in this drawer over here, I have my seam rippers because they always disappear when you need them the most. I have clippers, a seam gauge, and my markers. And over here in this drawer, I have my different size needles, screwdriver, tweezers, and you can even keep your presser foots in here. And the set I got comes with small drawers as well, which looks like it'd be perfect for pencils and markers, but <laughs> inside mine, I just have my neon sign remote for now. Moving on to my cutting table side, Eric figured out a space saving way to hang the lights and my camera to get the overhead table shots. So what we did was we purchased these auto poles that stretch across the room above the table and then um, they're held up by tension. So to secure it even more, Eric just drilled in some wood blocks underneath of them. So now we can just clamp the lights and the camera to the pole. I love this new setup so much because originally we had two tripods that went up and then it connected the pole on top. And then for our lights, we had them on tripods as well and they were kind of just everywhere around my sewing room and I would just trip over them. To save even more space, I got rid of my ironing board and now just iron on this wool mat that I can just place on my table. And it's a double win because now I can film my pressing as well with my overhead camera. And I thought that since I'll be ironing here now, it would be convenient to keep my iron nearby. So we got this wall iron mount and it even has hooks here to hang your ironing board. But since I no longer have one, I'm just hanging my tape measure there and a French curve for now. Moving on to the curtains, I chose these wavy checkered blue curtains to match my color scheme. And originally they were full length and reach all the way to the bottom, but I decided that I liked it shorter so that more of the pink wall can show and so that it's not blocking this outlet down here. Over here on this wall, we put up a command hook to hang up my embroidery hoops and they're hanging on pattern hooks. You can even hang these up in your closet if you want to, but I like having mine on display. 
Down here in this crack, I wanted something to hold up my cutting boards and ironing mats and just kind of keep it together. So Eric built this thing for me. I don't know what it's called, but he made it out of dowels and a wood board. Next up is my craft organizer from the container store and this is where I store my sewing notions, elastic zippers, rulers, my manuals and where I can just display everything I love and use very often so I can just grab it and go. If you watched my last sewing room makeover, I talked about my organization style which is a butterfly and that means I love having everything out in the open and for display. Lastly is the closet. Um, this is, I just have my pattern paper linked up inside and because I do have multiple sewing machines, we thought the best way to store it was to put in this metal rack. And on top, I just have my other art supplies in clear tubs. Having clear tubs is a must for me or else I'll just forget what I have. On the other side of the closet is where I hang my fabric and you saw this in my last sewing room makeover but pants hangers are a great way to save space if you have a lot of fabric so I just have them all hung up here underneath my fabric we put up another metal shelf and I did want clear tubs here but since I already own these cubicles I just put my yarn in there and my punch needling supplies and anything else you know can be stored here i do have my interfacing here because it always ends up in small pieces so i kind of just throw it in there and we'll dig for the scraps if i need it and that's pretty much it all right that completes my sewing studio tour everything i mentioned will be down below in my description box and let me know if you have any more organization tips or space saving hacks for me down in the comments as well Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.